multitude of counselors. I didn't just have one or two. It said there's safety in the multitude of counselors. You know, and I thought about it, you know, as I got to this place uh, that, that, that I, I did not want to be here anymore. I, 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 I became despondent. I became, I became this, you know, this, this, I don't know. I don't know what I was. But, but people showed up out of nowhere. I remember Kevin at a golf tournament in Birmingham, and I, and, and I, and I can remember looking at people. You know, I wasn't said a whole lot. You know what, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, coherent like, like, like I am now, but I saw people. I saw Roger, you know, in that restaurant. He, he was, you know, a multitude of counselors saying, speaking words of life. You know, words of life, words of life. That's a power, you know, Proverbs tells us life and death is in the power of the tongue. Literally, what, what comes out of our mouth it's, it's, it's life or death, you know, and so these counselors that God has surrounded me with has been speaking life to me. You know, Craig, Craig, Craig Harris, you know, sending me an email, you know, all the guys, Steve, you know, Steve Webb, you know, just come out and know, Miss Knows, we go to, uh, 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 to the golf tournament, you know, she's coming up and hugging me, and, 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 and even Johnny, even Johnny Stallings spoke words of life to me. You know, I was coming to that tournament in 2008. And they and coach didn't know if I was gonna come or not. Had lost about 40 pounds, walking around like a like like a skinny guy. You know, I see Derek there. Like everybody's there. You know, and we, I'm walking around, and, and I see Franny Jones. Franny comes up to me. She says, "Saran, we didn't think you were gonna make it." I'm just. She said, "Get on the cart." She takes me to Coach Stallings. The first person she takes me is Gene Stallings, and I see Coach. He 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 he, and he told me he said I was there that night. I said I said they told me you were there, Coach. And, and there is Johnny. And there is Johnny. And Coach, you know. You know, and we all think Down syndrome kids are not, you know, they, they're not like us and they don't know, but, but Johnny knew because he said, he said this. The coach said, this is Surrey. John said, Surrey Stacy, Surrey Stacy. And I said, hey, John, hey. And he said, he said, he said, I know. I, I know, you know. And I cried right there. And I said, thank you, Johnny. And he was saying, he said, he knew. But he was saying it was okay, you know. A multitude of counsel. Their safety in a multitude of counselors. And there I was surrounded by a multitude of people that's reaching out, uh, surrounded by a multitude of people that said, you know what, it's not over. You know what, you know what, you got to fight. You know what, you got you to get up. You got to pick yourself up. You got to get back up. Man, you know, w w when I got married on, on that day down in Destin, you know, Derek was with me. He, he just showed up. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have many groomsmen, you know. I, I was like, well, who can I get to come, you know, this is, you know. Derek shows up, you know, him and a couple more guys. But, but there it was, you know, he was with me when I married this woman. And he was with me when I was burying this woman. But there it is, the, the, there it is, that power. See, there's power there. Even, even when you don't know, you know, there's power there. And, they, even, and so, and so as, I, as I walk now, I, I have to make, you know, I have to make up my mind what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. You know, and here's some of the things that, that will eat you up in life. You know, here's the thing. If you deal with any type of death, you've got to deal with bitterness. You've got to deal with it. You've got to deal with resentment. You've got to deal with anger. You know, how do I deal with this bitterness? How do I deal with this resentment? Man, I avoid it. I avoid that bitter zone. You know, I, the, the Lord spoke this to me clearly when I was out in South Africa uh, doing, a, doing my first missionary. Over there, I was over there. I'll tell you what, he, he gave three things to me. And I'm going to share them real quick. He said, he said, you can't change your past. Thus says the Lord, you cannot change your past. Man, you know what? I wasn't always the husband that I should have been, you know? I wasn't always the father that I should have been. You know, I missed some games, you know? I listened to Coach last night talking about being a father. You know, men, you know what? A lot of us, as men, we're not in the right position where we should be. You know, it was a terrible thing. You got to live the rest of your life thinking what you should have done. Man, you can't do this. You got an opportunity to do it now. Do it now. You got opportunities to go on that vacation, go on that vacation. You got opportunity to make that game, you got to make that game. You got to make it, man. I know it's all about, you know, you, everyone, everyone wants to make money. Everyone, everyone wants to be, you know, in all the things uh, of the world. But listen, listen, brother, listen. You're looking at a man now. You're looking at a man now. If I could go back and change some things, I would go back, you know. But I can't. And God says, you can't change your past. He said, but the second thing he gave me, he said, your future can be different. Your future can be different. And I thought about this. Man, you know, my future can be different. Literally saying that, you know what, I can shape my future. Literally saying, if I don't, if I keep holding on to this, whatever in the past, then I become ineligible for whatever else God has for me. 
A lot of us are ineligible for the promises of God because we're holding on to yesterday. Man, you got to go. You got to release and you got to go. He said, your future can be this. And the last thing he gave me, he said, it has to and it must start somewhere. You got to start somewhere. I, I, I say this quote all the time. If you do what you've always done, then you will always be where you've always been. But, 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 but if, you, if, you, if you can get into your mindset that you are more than a conqueror, if you can get into your mindset, you know what, that was then, this is now, and I'm moving on. You know, you can start over at 40. You can start over at 50. You know what, you may have made some mistakes. You may have fallen. You, you may not be the person or the potential that everyone said you were going to be. But guess what? Guess what? You're still alive. You're still breathing. And you still got a chance. And so I say to myself, you know what, I made some mistakes. You know what, I, I didn't do a lot of things that I wanted to do. But guess what, I'm still alive. I still got a, I still got a chance. I, there's something left. So I implement a 10-year plan in my life. Now, 10 years from now, I, I say it openly now. I'm 40, when I'm 50 years old, man, I got a 10-year plan. You know, and then there it is. You line up your actions to whatever goal you have. You got to line them up. You have to line them up. It doesn't matter. It, I don't care what you've been through. I don't care what mistakes you made. The father that we all serve, he said, as far as the east to the west, I will remember your sins no more. The father that we serve, he said, you know, in, 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 Romans, in Romans chapter 6, it says, Jesus Christ being dead, raised up by the glory of the father, so shall we also walk in the newness of life. And so I say, if Christ got up, then I'm getting up too. I'm getting up in my mind. I'm getting up in my thinking. I'm getting up in my attitude. I'm getting up. I'm getting up. I'm getting up in my friendships. I'm getting up in my location. I'm getting up with people I surround myself with. I'm getting up. Christ is in me, the hope of glory. If Christ is in you, the hope of glory, then no weapon formed against you is going to prosper. And every tongue that curses you, God will condemn. He will bring you back. He even says in Scripture, he said, I will restore. I will restore the year. God will give you the years back. He listened to this. this. God says, I'll give you the years back that the canker worms, the palmer worms, and the locusts ate up. He said, I'll give you the garment of praise against the spirit of heaviness. He said, I'll give you a reputation back. I'll give you a name back. I'll, gi I'll, gi I'll give it back to you. All you got to do is have what I call, what we all know as faith. Hebrews 11 and 1. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not yet seen. You see, I can't see the 10 years from now. But I have faith in 10 years from now. I'm going somewhere with my life. I'll close with this scripture. It says, by faith, you know, it said, by faith, uh, Enoch, Enoch, Hebrews 11 and 5, by faith, Enoch was translated that he did not see death. He was translated. He went up to God. He said, God took him up because he had, he had this testimony, this testimony that he pleased God. How do you really please God? By faith. It says, Hebrews 11 and 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. He that cometh to God, whoever you may be, whatever mistake you made, whatever situation you is, he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And he's a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. He'll reward you, even if you don't deserve it. If you seek him, he'll reward you. If you cry out to him, he'll reward you. If you just keep looking, see, that's what I got inside of me that I've learned from these mighty multitude of counselors. Never give up. That's the one thing this man right here has taught me, to never get up. Never get up. That's the one thing he told me when I came out here, you know, some two years ago. He said, looked at me. He said, you know, the good Lord didn't meant for you to give up. He said, you get up. Saran, man, that see safety in the multitude of counsel will enact power. It, it, it'll bring power out. You know what? That safety, here it is that safety, that word safety in the Greek. In the Greek, it means to rescue. And I like, I, I, I like the last uh, terminology for it. It means victory. Victory, safety. There's victory in that. There's victory in my walk. There's victory in my attitude. There's victory in my life. If this word spoke to your spirit tonight, this morning, give God a praise.